Craig, uh, I mentioned roster turnover, and right off the bat here, uh, we've got, again, transfer portal news is former Texas quarterback Casey Thompson, um, the son of an OU legend at quarterback, uh, is now uh, transferring to Nebraska. So not only is he cutting his own path by going to Texas with an OU quarterback, uh, the other big rival was Nebraska back when his dad played, and he's going to Nebraska too. Check your mic again, Craig. We lost you. Yeah, I can't. I can't. We don't. We don't have you, Craig. There you go. I hear you. Hear me? Yeah, I got you now. <laughs> nothing. Like literally, nothing's changed. So, like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm losing it at this point. Um, we were just talking before we started, so I don't yeah. know. But, anyways, um. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird uh, that, you know, being the son of an OU legend, he's gone to, like, the two main rivals of uh, his father's old school now. Uh, I don't know, like, if that's uh, lashing out or just weird the way the transfer portal works and how life works. But, uh, yeah, Casey Thompson in Nebraska is an interesting move. Uh, you know, Adrian Martinez had already made the jump to Kansas State, and so – uh, you know, we're going to see if he can't, you know, kind of salvage uh, some of his college career and, you know, get a fresh start and uh, maybe be able to show off that athleticism and not so much of the mistakes in Manhattan and, you know, be a difference maker for them. But but clearly Nebraska needs, needs somebody, too, um, with, with him gone. So uh, we saw kind of a glimpse of what they had there at the end of the year. And uh, I certainly don't think that gave you much confidence going into this season, knowing that Scott Frost would be back, that, you know, that's who you were going to roll out there. You needed to go to the portal and grab somebody. And, uh, you know, Casey Thompson's uh, not a bad get uh, at all. You know, I, I know that Texas fans weren't completely sold on him, especially when there was always a carrot dangling for somebody better, you know, like a Quinn Ewers dream scenario, uh, which, you know, kind of makes me wonder how long that scenario was unfolding behind the scenes, almost like their Big 12 departure, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That Quinn Ewers thing just seemed like that was going on probably well before we were even talking about it, honestly. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they clearly felt like they weren't right in Austin. Uh, at QB, the uh, way that was handled all year was just kind of strange between he and Hudson Card. And, you know, then once Ewers came in and you had Malik Murphy sign, I think he just probably saw the writing on the wall and, um, you know, made that decision. And so he could have ended up at a lot of different places. But I think Nebraska makes sense, you know. Go play in the Big Ten, uh, not that far from home. And, uh, you know, obviously you got a coach that uh, there's question marks about, but that has had some success in the past offensively in Scott Frost. So, uh, you know, I think that uh, he's a good pickup for Nebraska. I don't know that he's going to, you know, turn the program around, but I think he can be an upgrade to what they've had or at least be uh, good enough of a playmaker and a game manager to – um, win them some games that maybe Adrian Martinez lost them or, or you know, um, just, you know, be there and be a steady hand for them. So I, I like the pickup for Nebraska. I think he'll do well there. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, if he jumps in as a starter right away, but uh, that, that, that's a good one for him, a good good choice for uh, for Casey Thompson. I think that I think that the the big shift is that Casey Thompson uh, he had a twenty four to nine interception or touchdown to interception ratio uh, this year as the Longhorns quarterback that's that's pretty darn good um, you know it, it could have been better I mean that Oklahoma State game alone was just kind of just a tragedy for him uh, offensively but uh, especially in the second half but I do think that where he will he'll he'll balance things out as he's not he's not really reckless like adrian martinez tended to be i think adrian martinez is in the situation he needs to be i said it yesterday chris Kleiman will you know make him play chris Kleiman ball and scott frost is maybe a little more comfortable with him taking those chances where chris Kleiman won't which is good for adrian martinez and casey thompson will help scott frost you know by not turning the ball over i mean this is a team in nebraska uh if you flipped all the one score games uh, that they had this year, they might have been in the Big Ten title game. I mean, that, that's how yeah. close their season was and how little things undid their whole year. So uh, if he can flip some of those, I mean, look, I don't know if they're going to haul off and beat Michigan or Ohio State next year, but you know, if they can go eight and four, nine and three, then Scott Frost has a reason to stay, and they don't they they can you know not not feel like that was a big waste of money to bring Scott Frost in. So I, I like Casey Thompson in Nebraska. I think it's it's a nice steady Eddie move. Uh, and, and while it's not going to you know, knock anybody's socks off more than likely, Nebraska doesn't need to knock people's socks off. They just need to win games that you're winning for 80% of the game. 
you know, you don't need to lose late. You don't need to do those silly things. And I think Casey Thompson can help you do that. Yeah, I mean, they, they really were cursed in terms of finding ways to lose games last year. I mean, it was unbelievable. And it wasn't just at the quarterback spot, but, I mean, it was – it was incredible to watch how they managed to lose games. Like, it was an art that Nebraska, you know, I mean, it was the way that they just ran through this whole season. Um, so, yeah, I, I agree with you that uh, he can protect the football a bit better than Adrian Martinez did. And I think it's a, you know, it's a low-risk, high-reward scenario for Nebraska with Casey Thompson. I mean, even if he's just average, that's still probably a bit of an upgrade over what they had so long as, like you said, he protects the football because that alone would have won them a couple of games last year, just simply protecting the football. So, yeah, I think that's that's a good move for them. And, and I think, too, I was doing like a final power rankings for the Big 12 last night uh, for the website, just a, like a post-bowl, you know, recap and, and kind of power rankings. Because, look, we're getting ready to get into the spring and, you know, these these February classes and all that, and there's going to be so much turnover and change, and, and there really, really already has been. But in looking at Kansas State, you know, finish 8-5, and five, and that's, you know, kind of about where they finished last year. But you win your bowl game over LSU, and no, that was not the real LSU. <laughs> like, in terms of they had less than half the scholarship players available. So, I mean, like, there's – there's bowl opt-outs and there's like guys not playing in bowl games. And then there's LSU. And like, that wasn't even just their players. That was their coaching staff. I mean, that was like the skeleton crew of all skeleton crews. Regardless, K-State won the game like they should have. And that's a bowl win. And that's going to go in their trophy case. And that's a win number eight. And that's good. And that's all that really matters. But I think them getting Adrian Martinez, if he can protect the football with his running ability, like, he could be nasty in that offense, dude. Like, he could be a difference maker for them on that offense. Um, but, again, he's got to protect the football, and, and that's yeah. that's his biggest issue. So, uh, I'm with you. I think Chris Kleiman can probably get the best out of him. I think Scott Frost can, you know, get the best out of Casey Thompson, hopefully, and, and it'll work out well for both parties. Yeah, uh, I think so. Uh, on uh, 